Palestine, the Jewish homeland, was part of the Roman Empire. Rome had imposed a puppet king, Herod, to rule over the Jews, but he was haunted by the prophecy of the coming of a Messiah. Many Jews rebelled against the occupation, but the Roman army put down any resistance with extreme brutality. I found him! Done. Calm down, Micah. That won't solve anything. Is this world mad? Where's God? It wasn't God who did this. It was men. But why? Because they can. They're nailing it to our temple wall. It's a sacrilege. Look at Simon, our village elder. He does nothing. What can he do? Jews of Nazareth! Your emperor in Rome has ordered a census to be taken of all his subject peoples. Accordingly, in nine months from now, every male will go to the town of his birth so that his name may be entered in the register. Every man will take with him his wife and children and register their names. Mike! Mike, get back! I'm going to tear it down. That's my judgment, not yours. It's sacrilege. Come here! Romans! I'm done! I'm Joseph, the carpenter. He's my kinsman. Please. Bring him. He showed courage. A soldier as you are may honor courage in another man without dishonor to himself. You're a brave girl. Let him go. Ah! I've seen them burn down a whole village for less. You put all our lives in danger. At least I showed them there's one man prepared to stand up to them. As for you, Mary, putting yourself forward like that, I wouldn't have believed it. And if she hadn't... Well, if you want a forward woman for your wife, oh. Joseph, that's your affair. They could have killed you, Micah. Oh, what did you do, Reuben? Nothing. And you're my brother. 
You can't fight the Roman army single-handed, Micah. A man may wear the Roman clothes and speak the Roman tongue, but he's a man all the same. He might even be a good man. Nine months. We'll be married by then. You realize you'll be coming to Bethlehem with me. Suffering. I beg you for an answer. Am I not asking the right question? How can I ease this suffering? What can I do? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Don't be afraid. You have found favor with God. Behold, you are to conceive in your womb and bear a son. You will call him Jesus. How can this be? I have no husband. The Holy Spirit will descend on you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. And the child to be born will be called holy. The Lord God will give him the throne of David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Behold the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be done according to thy word. Your cousin Elizabeth has also conceived a son. It is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing is impossible with God. Elizabeth is over fifty. She can't be with child. It must have been a dream. Perhaps it was a dream. Sometimes when it's very hot, you sit down to rest in the shade, and before you know it, you've nodded off. Yes. After all, why would God choose me? <gasps> what do you mean? If there's someone better, I'd like to meet them. Mother. I've never known you to do a wrong thing in your life. I think God's judgment of me might be a little less generous than yours. I'm going to see Elizabeth. Joseph. This journey's sudden? I haven't seen Elizabeth in a long time. Is that the only reason? You know me so well. I love you so well. Joseph? There's something I... I cannot tell. Not even to you. Mm. But I will tell it. 
promise. Will you be patient with me? Of course. Safe journey, Mary. Don't worry, Mother. I, um, made you a gift for the... It's... Take it for the channel. Thank you. It's beautiful. The lid's a little tight. Keeps the dust down. <laughs> I'll treasure it forever. in adultery. That's right. You shame the public. She's dead. She was justly condemned according to the law. Scripture says, what does God require of you? To do justice, but to love mercy. Greetings, Zechariah. He has lost the power of speech. Greetings, Mary. Greetings, Elizabeth. It was not a dream. No. My child leapt at the sound of your voice. He leapt. Seven months ago, Zacharias was chosen to offer incense at the temple sanctuary. He was in there for an age, and when he came out, he'd lost the power of speech. And there was a look in his eye, as if... as if he'd seen the messenger of God. Yes. And when I knew that I was with child, I should have rejoiced. After all the years of longing and praying, I was to have my dream, but there's something not natural. May I stay with you until the child is born? Of course, Mary. Of course. Elizabeth, mm. when you first knew you were with child, did you feel the signs in your body? Oh, yes. The sickness and <gasps> swelling here and... I'm with child. Are you sure? Blessed are thou. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb. We mustn't be afraid. We must trust in the Lord.
Zachariah, you have a son. He's beautiful. Our son, Zachariah, our son. And what shall we name you? We shall name him John. A messenger of God came to me and said my wife would bear a child and we should name him John. I didn't. I didn't. didn't believe him. I didn't believe him. <laughs> Proclaim the coming of the Messiah, promised by God. Hello, Martha. Joseph. Joseph. Joseph's here. here at last. Joseph, I've been missing you so much. Oh, how I prayed for you. What's wrong? Do you believe all things are possible with God? Yes, of course. The Lord's angel came to me. Who have you been with? This is God's child. <laughs> Are you insane? On my honor, it was no man. <gasps> you have pledged to me and you betrayed me. No. way to give you up. You'll have to leave Nazareth now. I don't want to hurt you. But I cannot take you as my wife. Not now. Once after you've done this to me. You're dead to me. the man. She says nothing. She's guilty. Look at her. She's seen with a man. Stone her. Listen! 
Be quiet. Mary is my betrothed. Tomorrow I will make her my wife. Any man or woman who dare say scandal against her, even a whisper, will have to answer to me. All right, go home, everybody. Go on. Mary. This house is yours now. You saved the child's life, too. No, not me. I was full of hate against you. Last night, I had a dream. I heard a voice. The voice was from God. Sure, Joseph. Yes. Oh, yes. It will be hard for you. But <laughs> you'll make it easy. It'll never be easy. Never. Sit down. Wait there. Out of the way! What do you want? My wife, please. A room. My wife. I'm nothing. Please. Wait, wait. What's the matter? Please, my wife. What's the matter? Look at her. Look, please. Right. It's all like an offer. It's so crowded, what with the census and all. <sighs> You're the good man there. Mine now is about as much use as a two-legged chair. Six aren't born him. All boys, too. About time. Now then, water. Hot. And food. There's some fresh bread and cold meat in the larder. But well, don't just stand there like oh, you are. Go on, go on. Hurry up with you. Oh, you're just about ready. found favour with God. You are to conceive in your womb and bear a son. You will name him Jesus. I never saw a more beautiful child. You're too late, as usual. And what do you want? Out! 
We were on the hill with our flocks. We saw a light in the sky. We had a voice. It was from God. What do you shepherds know of God? You're thieves and robbers, every one of you. It said there was a child born tonight in Bethlehem, in a stable. Are you just going to stand there? Please, let him speak. There's nothing to fear from him. It said the child was the promised one, the saviour. Here's my child. But the voice said we weren't to be afraid. Then there was singing. It sounded like singing up in the sky. Glory be to God in heaven and peace to his people on earth. What is this star over Bethlehem? Well, what does it mean? I don't know, King Herod. My dear? No, Majesty. No, no, not that. What then? The signs are contradictory, Your Majesty. A little more time and... The foreigners are here, Majesty. You are welcome. I'm told you have come from far. From the east, following this star. What does it mean? We believe it is a sign, Majesty that a child has been born who will be king of the Jews. We have come to pay homage and bring gifts. Where is this child? That we have yet to discover, Majesty. When you do, you must return here and tell me so that I too can pay homage. You must be tired. Rest here tonight. As my honored guest. We must send the camels and the baggage to Gadara. Herod has no power there. Go now. And wait there until we come. It will be done, my lord. I want them watched. I want them followed. Wherever they go. Majesty. We thank you for these gifts. King Herod is an evil man. For this reason, we came in secret. But in so doing, we will no doubt have aroused his suspicion. Joseph, we should go back to Nazareth now. You're not strong enough. I think I am. It's still bitter cold. We must wait for warmer weather. Joseph, we must go back now. Tomorrow is the Sabbath. We'll leave the next day. They've been seen, Majesty, in Bethlehem. <coughs> I've consulted the priests. It's written in the scripture that out of Bethlehem will come a ruler of Israel. Then scripture must be confounded. Send me the... Captain of the household troop. But, Majesty, we know only that the foreigners were seen in Bethlehem. We don't know the name of the child or his father. What of that? My orders are to kill every male infant born in Bethlehem in the last six months. <laughs> Let's go now.
safe now. We'll go south to Egypt. I'll see my kinsmen in Alexandria. They'll give me work. It's not that. I'm thinking of Bethlehem. All the mothers who have no child to hold in their arms today. We are safe now. We'll never be safe. Never. It's dead, isn't he, Mother? That's why we're going home to Nazareth. Yes, Jesus. But they're not Herod's men. They're Romans. Why do they say an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth? Why do you think about that? If God makes the sun shine on both good and bad people, and sends the rain down on the honest and the dishonest, then shouldn't we also love our enemies and pray for those who do us wrong? This is Jesus. Jesus. A story. Yes. A story. Once there was a man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. A band of robbers attacked him. They beat him. They stole everything he had and left him in the ditch to die. A priest passed by. He saw the man in the ditch, but did nothing. Then a Levite, a very wealthy person, passed by. And he did nothing either. A third man passed by. And he was a Samaritan. And you know what they say about Samaritans? You can't trust them. 
Exactly. But the Samaritan took pity on the man. He carried him to the nearest inn. And he even gave the innkeeper a bag of money. So the man could stay till he was better. So the Samaritan was good? Yes. Even though he was a Samaritan. So stuck up and superior, huh? Can you fight? Yeah, get fight? Come on, come on. Aren't you going to fight me? Come on. Let's leave him alone. It's so easy being mean and to get angry, but it doesn't... He would have hurt me, or I would have hurt him, and it goes on and on. I know God doesn't want that. I know it. Why is it I see these things and no one else does? Twelve years ago, here, I started on a journey. I didn't know what lay ahead. All I had was faith that God would guide me and that he wouldn't leave me alone. I waited to hear his voice. It never came. It was only my own voice. And I learned to listen to it. I learned to, to trust it. Until now, it's never urged me to tell you of your birth. This journey's mine too, isn't it? Yes. It's not going to be easy, is it? I'm afraid it's going to be very hard. There's so much cruelty out there. I'm not afraid because you're with me. You'll always be with me, won't you? As long as I live. Joseph and Jesus back yet? No, they're not. I told him we were almost ready to go. He's holding us up. At last. Where's Jesus? Here, isn't he? You said he was with his father. Well, I assumed he was. before dawn this morning. Where would you go? At that hour, every door in the city would be shut or locked. Every door but one. Son. It's Joseph, he's over there. Uh, 
must be very proud. Such knowledge of scripture, such wisdom. And he's, he's only 12. Nobody here can remember anything like it. Who is his teacher? M Mary teaches him scripture. Yes, yes, but there must be someone else. I mean no offense, Mary. But such a profound understanding as he has. How could you do this? Why are you so angry, Father? How could you go off like that without telling us? But, Father, I, I thought you'd know where to find me. Where else would I go but to my father's house? Your father's house? All the mysteries have quietly kept in my heart. You alone have shared them. <laughs> You're everything to me. Do you remember Zechariah, Elizabeth's husband? At the temple, yes. When John, their son, was born, Zechariah did say that he would be a prophet. I was there. He said that John's task would be to prepare the way for the coming of another. You should go to John and receive baptism from him. That day at the temple when he thought I was lost? Yes. I went because... God told me to go. I knew it was right. For 18 years, I've waited to hear that voice again. We must go to John. He must baptize me. Change your hearts! Turn toward God, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand! The Lord is coming to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death! The Lord is coming to guide our feet in the way of peace! Prepare your hearts for the tender mercy of God! Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his path. What must we do? If you have two coats, give one of them to your neighbor who has none. If you have food to spare, give it to one who is hungry. Are you the promised one? Listen to me, all of you. I baptize you with water. But there's one who's coming who's greater than I am. I'm not worthy to untie his sandal. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Remember the words of Isaiah the prophet. A voice will cry in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Savior. Make his path straight. All mankind will see the salvation of God. Come down to the river. Receive baptism. Let your sin be washed away in water. Start your lives anew. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. I saw the Spirit come 
down like a dove upon you. And yet you come to me for baptism. Let it be. But it is I who need baptism from you. Baptize me, John. Show me your way. My heart is set on fulfilling your work, wherever it may lead. We were right to come. I know what I must do now. Bring people to God, teach them his love. Those stories you used to tell me, that's how I'll teach them. I feel different. I feel new powers inside of me. Like I can perform wonders. But is this right? Is it right? It must be right. These men? My disciples. What Messiah would come from a village like this? John the Baptist said he's the one. We know what John said. Where are the signs? Jesus, we'd about given you up for lost. Well, as you see, I found myself. This is my cousin. Yes, and you are the followers. What has my cousin called you? His disciples, teaching them carpentry. If you're still with him in two days, come to my wedding in Cana. Thank you, Joseph. We'll all be there. I saw you and Jesus at the River Jordan with John the Baptist. I'm Mary Magdala. I saw you as well. It was hard not to see you. You've changed. Your jewelry, your clothes. I felt something that day I'd never felt before. When you were being baptized, I knew I'd found a way to end my sins. I had to follow Jesus on his way. I understand. Peter doesn't think women should be allowed to follow the master. He said as much to Jesus. Well, what did Jesus say? That women are fit to guide because they raise our sons. What's the matter? He says there is no more wine. 
What's that to you and me? My hour has not yet come. Do whatever he tells you. Fill the jars with water. Isaiah, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release of the captives and recovery of sight for the blind, to let the oppressed go free. Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. What is he saying? He's damning himself. I have come here not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. I am the living bread which comes down from heaven. If anyone eats this bread, he will live forever. This is blasphemy. Are you saying that you, that you are the Messiah? He is the Messiah. Listen, I've known this boy all his life. How can he say he came down from heaven? He is the Messiah. This is a crime. Whoever rejects me, rejects the one who sent me. We all know who he is. His father was Joseph the carpenter. His mother is Mary. for you. That's wonderful, Mother. Thank you. You know I must go. Yes. I may not see you for months, even years. I know this is what you're meant to do. 
Still, I'm frightened for you. Yes? A mother's plea for John the Baptist. The Baptist? We demand to see him. Wait over there, where his followers are. You'll see him soon enough. I'm Barabbas. Follow me. Don't be afraid. Me, Barabbas. I fought them, and here I am. Alive and well and ready for more. And I killed them too! You and me! Rise up, I say! Kill them! Kill them all! No! Kill, and you... You know better than they are. Kill, and you make more killing, and more and more, till there's nothing but blood. Nothing for you and your children, and their children, but death. Here's your John the Baptist. <laughs> waiting all day. Mother's here. Who is my mother? Who are my kinsmen? But those who hear the word of God and accept it. You are my mother. You are my brothers. Preaches love, but he hates us. Love your neighbor as yourself, he says, but turns his back on his own family. No. 
You heard what he said. He cast you aside. You. You. His own mother. No. How can you go on defending him? Try to understand, James. He wasn't casting his own family aside. He was asking those people to enter into a new kind of family. What he teaches. Love and peace comes from God. And it's for all the world. Mother? never seen such joy. Excellency, this man will stir up violence against Rome. My dear Silas, you do not speak for Rome. When it comes to preventing violence and public disorder, our interests and that of Rome are identical. I'm told that this prophet preaches the very opposite of violence. Indeed. He urges his followers to love their enemies. But hardly likely to cause public disorder. It's no matter what this fellow preaches, Excellency. He claims to be the promised one, the Messiah. People believe him. Listen to them. Listen! I shall post more men near the temple. end? You were there today in the streets. You saw the crowds. Yes. It won't be like that. It'll be the opposite of that. I want to ask why, but... Mother. Never lose faith. Never, my son. Never. See you in the morning. Do 
Jesus has been arrested by the Romans. What? He's been held in the fortress Antonia. The official charge is insurrection against Rome. into this world. I try to keep him safe. Please, God, don't take him now, like this. <clears throat> Thy will be done. I'll bring more news. You must stay here where you're safe. No. We cannot wait. condemned to die. Barabbas the robber and Jesus of Nazareth. You may choose. Who will you save? Barabbas or Jesus? Jesus. 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 Say nothing to defend yourself. Do you hear the crowd? Why does he not speak? What is this he seeks to say? Not himself. Crucify him. Take my advice. Turn your back on this place and go away. Now. <laughs> they soon take him to Golgotha to be executed.
with him. John. Where were you? Where were you? Judas betrayed me. Where were you? When they came to arrest him, I was the only one to fight. Judas betrayed him. And Jesus, even when he went to the cross. Jesus didn't want bloodshed. I heard the cock crow. I don't know why. I couldn't. I'll avenge his death. There's nothing to avenge. The reasons for my son's crucifixion suppose everything. What do we do now?
Someone's been here. They've taken away my lord. I don't know where they've laid him. Are you the keeper here? If you've carried him away, tell me where you've put him. Mary. Raboni. Teacher. The Lord will be with you. Mary? You were the mother of my Messiah. Now you're my mother. I'll take you home to Galilee and care for you there. Your work is finished. Our work has just begun. Then what must we do? Go out into the world. Knowing our own weakness, try to teach...